Hey everyone, how you doing? So today I'm going to do a chit chat get ready with me video and yeah, I'm super excited because I haven't done one of these and yeah, so it's on this look and I really like it, it's quite neutral and the main focus is on like the eyelashes so I really really love this look because it's quite simple but really nice and elegant. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I just hit 7k and I really really want to reach 10k in a few months. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, it means a lot and yeah so by the way all the products will be listed down below if you want to you know see what I used and let's just get on to the video. Okay so let's get into the video, sorry if my skin looks really bad at the moment because I'm breaking out and I'm not really sure if you you guys would like chit chat get rid of me because I've never done it before and I'm not sure if you guys would even care about what I have to say or anything because this video is going to be quite long so I just tied my hair out quite rough like just you know a quick ponytail so sorry if it looks bad or anything but just to get my hair out of my face but the first thing we're using is my Dermalogica Antioxidant Hydramus and it's really good because it makes your skin a lot more moisturised and hydrated so I really love it and I don't even know I just had it I think someone gave it to me or something but yeah and it works really really well as like underneath your primer and everything. So to actually prime, I'm gonna take my Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm. So I'm just gonna put this all over my skin. By the way guys, I know I say this a lot, but if you wanna comment down below video ideas, because I'm so stuck on what you guys want, like what do you actually want to see? What do you wanna see from me? Because I'm just uploading whatever I kind of like feel like doing. But I thought it would be nice to see what you want to see as well. I don't really know what makeup look I'm going to do today. But I think I'm going to try and do something quite simple as far as the eyes go. Otherwise, if I did something a bit more dramatic, I would do my eyes before my base. So I'm going to do my base first today. Okay, so once I've dampened my beauty blender, it's nice and wet. Well, not wet, damp, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to take my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Lightning Foundation. And I'm so sad. Like, this foundation is almost finished. So I have to, like, go to, um buy a new one because it's really really nice but I don't know I'm gonna buy a new foundation so if you have any recommendations comment down below like what's your holy grail foundation okay so I'm just gonna put this all over my skin I don't know why I put it on the beauty blender this time like I just put I don't know I'm just dotting it my face actually that's kind of a good idea to put it on your beauty blender because then it won't become it won't make your fingers like full of foundation I was thinking of getting the Ellie Girl I don't know the exact name but the foundation that they have you know the one that's supposed to go with the Pro Concealer I think okay I'm just blending this out and by the way if you're wondering where I'm going or something I'm not even going anywhere I'm just gonna film a few videos today so I thought let me just get ready and I thought while I'm getting ready I might as well just film this as well and make it into a video a lot of you guys asked me about how um, to start a YouTube channel, so I thought I would like talk about it a little bit in this video while I'm doing chit chat, you know. So I would say, obviously I have a camera, a ring light and everything right now, but to start you do not need those things. A lot of people I know actually want to start a YouTube channel, but I ask them why they're not starting it yet. They say, um, they say because... They haven't got, like, they're waiting to get the camera, they're waiting to get a tripod, they're waiting to, you know, I don't know, they're waiting for something. And then I, I say to them, this is what I think, like, iPhone quality is actually really, really good if you think about it. Like, you're underestimating the quality of your iPhone, a lot of people have iPhones these days. So you could easily just, because it comes with iMovie as well, so you can easily just edit and film on your iPhone. It's actually really, really good. So I'm just putting on the Elego Pro Concealer now, by the way. Um, so yeah, and then I was saying, like, to anyone really, this is what I would say. Just start off with, like, your phone or anything you have. Because if you wait, like, in life you're always going to be waiting for things. You're always going to, like, there's no point of saying, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next week. Do it now. Because in life there's, there will always be things that will stop you from doing something. It will never stop. It will never, like, be... For example, if you want to start a diet, you'll be like, oh, let me let me wait until this event finishes, let me wait till this wedding is over. But you shouldn't, because in life, 
like there's always going to be weddings, there's always going to be different like events and stuff, like you should just start now and sorry I'm talking to you like with some weird face thing going on, I'm just putting my concealer. So I'm thinking if you, if you want to start a YouTube channel, then just start it now because if you want to start it like next week or next year or next month or whatever, there's always going to be someone who will start before you. So maybe they'll start the week before you, the month before you, there'll always be someone who starts before you and they could get ahead of you. They're one day ahead of you, they're one month ahead of you and think about it, that could be you and they could become successful and they could do, you know? And this is not just for YouTube, anything in life, that's what I always think when I think of anything. So that's why I would say just do it if you, if you want to start a channel. So. Those are my thoughts on that. So there's always going to be obstacles and everything, but I think whatever you want to do, just do it now because you never know when like you, when it's too late. Okay, I'm just going to be blending out my concealer. As far as anything else with YouTube is um, be consistent because that's super important with whatever you want to do because people will see that you are, people will see that you are um, uploading consistently and then they would want to stay because, you know, you're worth them watching. Like, I don't have an uploading schedule because I just want to, like, upload things that... I don't want to, like, have pressure to upload. Um, you know, I don't want to have pressure to film a video and upload on this day because then I can't really, like, make the video as best as I can. What are you doing? Yay! Stop it. Go away. I always try to stay motivated in life and I think there's always going to be someone who's better than you but unless you try it, unless you do something now then you'll never beat them, you'll never become what you want to become, you know? So that's why, that's my opinion, that's my point of view on this. I'm going to set the concealer with my Charlotte Tilbury, I can't even open it with these nails, Airbrush Full Finish Skin Protecting, Skin Perfecting, not Protecting, Micro Powder. And look how much I've used already. I don't think I'm going to repurchase this. I like it. It's really flawless and that. But I don't know. I didn't even use it that much. I've only had it for like a couple months. And it's already hit pan like a lot. So I don't know. It was £33 which is quite steep. So I might just buy the Laura Mercier again because this one's almost finished. If I don't upload too much, um, sorry because my school's getting a lot recently. Like I'm getting a lot of homework and after school things I have to go to. Because I don't know... If you know what I'm talking about, because I live in the UK, but um, my GCSEs are next year and I'm already doing some of my GCSEs, so it's quite a lot of work for me already. So I'm going to try and continue my YouTube, but if sometimes I don't upload for a while, or if, like I might just upload a lot, because um, it takes me like a long time to upload. Some videos take more than like 5-10 hours to upload to YouTube, so... I might just like not upload for a week, but then I'll upload like three videos in like a few days. So I'll try and be as, as consistent as I can, but sometimes it's just hard because I, this is not my like job, my full time job or anything, because um, I'm also a student. You know, five days a week I go to school for six hours, um, so that's a lot of my time taken already. My head's kind of hurting, so I'm gonna take off my ponytail. Now I've been pretty much done my actual base, as in foundation, concealer, oh my god, I'm taking so long to do this, but now I'm going to do like bronzer and yeah. Okay, I'm going to use my Baby Luminizer by The Balm, and it looks like this, and I'm just going to take this brush and then just kind of bronze up my face a little. Guys, um, today is the 5th, I think, yeah, it's the 5th. I'm going to film a, like another video or a couple videos later on, because this is the first video I'm filming today. Um, so I thought that I might do like a skit slash comedy video, um, I don't know exactly about yet, but I thought that maybe you guys would like to see that, so just let me know if you'd like to see any sort of skits or give me some ideas because I don't mind doing anything, like, it's fun for me as well to film and do everything. And people will always ask me how I get my makeup to look so nice, and the, and the, Secret is, like, not really a secret, but it's just a uh, top tip I can give to you is blending. Sorry, my mom's calling me at the moment. <laughs> Hello? I actually really, really like this bronzer. It's like, 
I don't know, it's also basically a highlighter as well, but it doesn't look like super shimmery when you put it on like as a bronzer, so it could also be a highlighter for like deeper skin tones. You just really want to take the time to blend everything out properly. Okay, for blush, I'm going to use my Mineralized Blush in the shade Hang Loose. But yeah, I feel like most people are so scared to um, start YouTube channels and that because I get a lot of like comments about that, a lot of messages on social media, and just people in general, like in real life as well. They say, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel, but I'm scared of the hate that I'll get. And I'm like, I never thought about that. Like, seriously, the, the amount of hate I get, like or anyone, most people, the majority of YouTubers, they probably get the ratio of love to hate comments are probably about 10,000 to 1 or something like that, you know? Like, obviously that might be an exaggeration, but you know what I mean? Like, there might be like one hate comment for every few, few thousands of nice comments, so I personally, I don't know, because I don't get that much, but I get like, affected a little bit. What I just do, I don't even read the whole thing, I just delete it. Most of the time it goes in my spam box anyway, so I don't see it, so you know. Haters, I don't understand what haters do with their lives, because they just want to like, like, they won't even, they won't even see it most of the time. Because it will go in spam, YouTube filters out like stuff that they think is a hate comment or bad most of the time. For highlights, I'm going to use my Mary Luminizer and I love this one. I didn't like it at first, maybe because... Maybe because it wasn't pigmented or something. I don't know because I used it a few times and now it's really really nice. But maybe it was like the top layer not being good like good or something like that. But I really love it. I'm using my Morphe M501 brush, which is a really, really nice brush for putting on highlight. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. I only put like a little bit. Okay, I put some on my nose. But I'm not gonna overdo it because some people they do way too much. Cupid's bow chin. Tiny bit on forehead, but not too much because you don't want it to look like you're greasy or sweating. And I'm gonna say it because, not really say it, but it just gets rid of like the powderiness and everything. But using my MAC Fix Plus, and I got this like a couple weeks ago. Oh my god, look how much I've used. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna spray it on my face. And I just kind of, I, I just kind of like to drench my face in this because it makes it look super flawless and nice, and I love it. And I just like to wave my hands out for no reason. <laughs> um, well, it actually kind of helps. It just makes it, it, it dry a little faster. I'm loving my base. It looks so flawless at the moment. And yeah, is it me or like I like Morphe palettes, but like it always gets dirty. I can't keep it clean. As I said, I'm going for something really simple today. I don't even know what, but I'm taking my Morphe 35O palette. Um, I got this recently and I've used it like a few times and I love it for like the price. It's super good. And I can't believe I got it because it's always out of stock. I'm going to take, you can't really see, but I'm going to take this one. Um, and I'm just going to put that in my crease. And I'm using my Morphe MB23 to put this in the crease. Guys, I want to do meet up so bad, but the thing is obviously there's not a lot of you like... I live in London, but I doubt like any of you would want to meet me because I'm like a small YouTuber compared to other YouTubers. But I can't wait in the future to do a meetup because I feel like that will just be so cool. Because I'll be able to meet you guys and take pictures with you guys and we can like go out and eat or something like it would be so fun. I don't know if you knew, but on the 26th of January, it was my one year anniversary on YouTube. Well, not really. I don't know because, um... My first video was basically uploaded on the 26th of January 2015, no, 2016. I think I'm going to take a little bit of this one and I'm just going to try and make it quite diffused. So guys, I think later I'm going to do um, the Bean Boozle Challenge with my mom. I don't know if that'll be up or this will be up, I don't know, because I'm filming a few videos today. As I said, but I thought that would be so funny, <laughs> my mom in a video. And by the way guys, if you want a mom tag, because a lot of you guys, like, Asked to see my mom in videos. I don't know why, but you just do. So I thought, why not just include her in one of my videos soon? I think I'm not gonna put any shimmers because I want it to be quite matte. I think I'm gonna put this light orange shade sort of like all over the lid, and that will be enough for um, the like the actual lid. Cause I always do like a crease color, then I do like shimmer in the middle of the lid. So I thought 
I might as well do something a little bit different today. Because I really want to get a dog. I don't know why or when, but ever since like a while now, since like last year, I've been wanting to get a dog and my parents, they want to get a dog as well. Like they don't mind, but I mean, I don't know what's stopping us. Like, I think, because I'm quite allergic to like hay, I have hay fever and stuff, if you don't know. It's quite likely to be, for me to be allergic to dogs because I have hay fever and like they could bring other stuff from like outside or whatever, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be committed because we all like are working and I have school obviously. We're all really busy so I don't really know if we could look after a dog. Um, as my dad says, a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. I don't know if he, like if that's a saying or what. But basically it just means that a dog is like not just a gift or like a toy. It's something you should actually look after, you know. I think that's it for the eyes. It's pretty simple. I'm liking it. Look, I literally just needed one brush. I really, really like. I really, really like this eye, eyebrow. I mean, this eyelash brush. Eyelash brush. What am I saying? This eyeshadow brush, because um, it's like a really nice blending brush, and you can easily just blend out anything. I'm gonna take the third shade for my inner corner highlight. I don't know if this will work, cause it's quite. Glittery. The lashes I'm going to use are these ones. I don't know if you can tell. They're right at the bottom. But I don't have the actual case of it. So these are a different pair. Um, but these are from Accessory Circus if you're wondering. So it looks like this. They're handmade and yeah. I'll link everything down below by the way. And I'll list everything that I use. Hopefully I can apply them well. Because I'm no expert. But the glue I'm going to be using is the Dio. Not Dio. Duo eyelash, ex la oh my god, I can't speak. Duo eyelash adhesive in dark tone, so it just goes black. I just put on my lashes and I put a bit of mascara on my lower eyelashes, and it's L'Oreal Telescopic. And I'm just gonna do my lips, and then we're basically done. Now I'm just gonna give you a lip option, and I just wanna go with the nude thing because I want the focus of this makeup look is to be like on the eyelashes because I put fake eyelashes on, obviously, because everything else is quite neutral. Um, so the one I'm using is a NYX lingerie liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade Push Up. I'm just going to be putting this on and I already moisturised my lips with my EOS. I really, really like this liquid lipstick because it doesn't dry out my lips. It's actually really, really comfortable. just realised I haven't done anything to my eyebrows but that's okay. I just completely forgot. But anyway, this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it's kind of like, it wasn't really much of a chit chat, but anyway, I just wanted to try out to see how it went. And yeah, um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, my vlog channel, and my, and watch my last video because it will be on the screen right now. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.